Okay, everyone, uh, this is Mike, W1SRR. I'm going to be showing everyone how to use the uh, cloning software by ICOM, uh, so I could program my ID50. Uh, actually, the ID50 is already programmed, but what we'll do is we'll play around with it a little bit and uh, then uh, program some things there. Uh, the plan is to go ahead and program some repeater settings and things of that nature from other icon products. So uh, let's get to it. Close that out. So my plan is to uh, go to the CS52 and the uh, CS51 software. And what we'll, what we'll do is we'll program some stuff, we'll take it out and we'll put it onto the CS50. Uh, so I can go ahead and clone it onto the ID50. And it's super easy. A lot of people think it's a little hard, but no, it's not. The beauty of this is that this is free software uh, from Icon, and it's actually pretty good. So um, what I do is I've saved these CSV files from doing other radios. I'm an Icon guy. I like it. I'm an Icon fanboy. I really enjoy Icon. I enjoy D-Star, and uh, I... Uh, uh, I own a lot of their products, um, and uh, you know it looks like I'm, I'm going to continue owning their products as we go, and mostly because I know it. So um, here we go. What I'm showing you right now is the memory channel on the ID51. Uh, this is the ID51 A plus two CS file, uh, file. and um, I am on uh, a memory channel, so. This one, this particular memory is in for Pi Star, and it's got a reflector 37 Charlie, the shutdown command, and the reboot Pi. But just to, for sake, what we're going to do is we're going to copy a bunch of uh, of um, other commands here for different repeaters, uh, and then I'm going to put it onto the ID50. So here we go. Why I go is I do this. I highlight that uh, group there from 100 to 199. So I will have 99 or 100 channels to uh, put over and send over to the new radio. I can do it two ways. I can go ahead, right click it, or well, that's not working here, huh? Right click it. So now if that's not going to work, then go to file and see it says export. I'm going to export. It's going to ask me where to export that from. Um, I'm going to export it to a file that I created on my desktop. So we're going to go to desktop. We're going to do CSV. And we'll name it. I will put in um, 51. Right? And then save. Okay. I go to the file now. And there's a CSV file. It came over a Microsoft Excel comma. Oh, hold on. So CSV comma separated value file. Okay. Um, now we're going to do it with a different radio. We're going to go to 50, 52 now. So I got into 52, I copied over a file, let's pick any of these here, we'll pick this one which is an older file from July 16th of 2022, and I am uh, now going to go and let's say I want to do your, go to digital, I want to do your call sign. On your call sign I have a bunch of commands here, uh, and this is uh, for D-Star, TGIF, Brandmeister, and so on. So I want to copy that over to the... ID 50. So this one you could right click. So CS files are from ICOM. The older radios don't have certain fu functions that the newer CS files or software for newer radios have. Um, so for instance, on the CS 51, I could not right click and do the import export function from there. I had to do it on the file. Over here, I can right click it, I highlight, right click it, and we're going to put export. 
and then we're going to just name it something. So I'm going to go back to that file on my desktop, CSV, I'll put 52. Save. All right. So I'm going to minimize that. We'll go to our file. Whoops, it's not there. That's weird. Let's check it again. There it is. So they got the 51 and the 52. Okay. ID 51, ID 52. We're going to put this in the ID 50. So we're going to close that out. I'm going to open up the CS50 file. Now, I have not backed up I have not backed up this radio to this laptop. This is not the laptop I usually use. I usually use a smaller laptop the, that I got for just for radio files, but decided let me use the nicer, newer one to do this video. So we're going to search for the COM port. Press search. It says ID50. It says COM port 4. OK. Press OK here. It's going to open up the, file, uh, the software. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to read from the radio. So I'm going to clone read. And you can do it two ways. You can go up here to this little icon, uh, which shows a little computer with, a, uh, with an arrow pointing to it. Or you can go to the clone, and it says read here, TR. Okay? So let's do that. Now it's reading from the radio. You can't see it on the radio, but there it is. So sorry about that. And there it is, the radio reboots. And uh, now we're going to open it. Oh, it should already be there. So it should have a bunch of things. So you see the year, I got D-Star, Orlando 2 meter, Orlando 70 centimeter, Sarnet, Florida Aries, Florida Races, Florida Skywarn. So I have a lot of memory channels here. So these other channels that I have, my 51, my 52, those are older. Those are from last year. I have since built up a lot of things over here and then on the digital side it's going to show on the your call sign it's going to show a lot more uh, commands so I, I have had a lot of time to play with this but what we're going to do is we're going to change it up so on this side we're going to right click it we're going to import and so we go to desktop CSV 52, right? That's where we had that. Import for file currency sheet will be clear. Are you sure? Okay. And boom. On this side over here, we had all the repeaters. So let's uh, let's take where it says D star. We're going to right click it. Import. Group. 51. So it's just going to change that group. So now it's changed it. I'm not sure if you noticed because it flashed real quick and it just changed everything here. Now we're going to write it to the radio. Okay. Write to transceiver. Are you sure? Okay. And it is writing to the radio. It's going to say to reboot the radio. This cloning succeeded. Turn the power off. So we're going to shut it down. Turn it back on. And that's it. It's going to show uh, my commands. So if I go to the your fi your files, oh, I got the lock on. I go to your call sign. It's going to have the same, go to your call sign here, it's going to start from uh, the, on the D-Star, TGIF, Brandmeister, so just the same thing that's on the computer over here, it's going to be on the radio. That's how you know that you successfully uh, put in the commands. Same thing for over here, group 00. zero. This is um, going to be a little different. So what we'll do is we're going to get off of, we're going to get out of there, get out of DR, and it's going to have um, an option on quick command. Go to group select, 
go to group zero zero just like over here there's no name in group zero zero on the radio oops sorry about that no name so we we'll click on it and the first one that pops up is w4 aes talk w4 aes talk so remember we got this file from an id 51 and we got this file for an ID 52, but we cloned it over to an ID 50. There it is. So, super easy to use. Uh, I highly suggest that um, you use this. Now, on the, the before they, anyone asks, this particular USB C cord is one I bought. Okay, it's got the 90 degree angles, and it's just, it's not supplied with the radio. So it's a, just a shorter one uh, that I use for programming radios and for program, and as well as charging it because it's charging the radio at the same time. And um, so you can use any USB C type cord that is programmable. Uh, don't, it won't do just the charge, but it'll, uh, you need the programming type. And your uh, ID50 should program with no problem. It's a breeze using this ID50 in comparison to the uh, to the 51. The 51, you need a special uh, cable that you have to buy either from uh, ICOM or from RT Systems. And the same thing with the uh, with the 52. You, the 52 also does a USB uh, mini U or micro USB, uh, which you can find in any drawer at your home or in your office. Um, but the USB-C just makes it a lot easier to plug it in. You don't have to uh, worry about a smaller uh, connector like the uh, the mini or the micro, and uh, just makes it a lot easier to do that. Uh, so great rig, I, I like it. Uh, I work at one of the toy stores here in Florida, and I tell you, I purchased this on the first day it came out. Um, full retail price uh, and uh, because hey it was already on sale so you can't get any cheaper than that um, and uh, it works great I like it better than the 51 um, it's not flashy it's not shiny it doesn't have anything like that it's got that matte finish um, and uh, it's it's newer so it does a lot nicer it's a lot louder uh, it's got uh, the 750 I believe it's a 750 milli uh, milliwatt speaker where the 51 comes with a 500 milliwatt so that's nice um, and uh, it's got all the same features as a 51 plus has the 52's interface uh, in the menu so not a bad radio anyways if you have any questions go ahead and message me or leave it uh, in the comments below and uh, I'm sorry about the quality of the video I'm using my cell phone and I speak fast. I know. I have an accent. I'm from New York originally. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much. This is Mike, W1SRR. And uh, talk to you on, on uh, D-Star. Mike out.